Hello and greeting from the Fox's Den. I am Ms. Smith, the math intervention teacher here at Furley, and I'm happy to share with you today the book, Alicia Has a Bad Day. I chose this book because we can all relate to Alicia, because we all have those days where they are bad or miserable. And I hope you enjoy discovering it as much as I have. Let's get started. Alicia Has a Bad Day by Lisa John Klaus. Hello, my name is Alicia. This is my dog, Neptune. I am generally a very happy person. But not always. Some days I am miserable. Today I am so miserable, I don't want to get out of bed. Neptune doesn't even lick my face like he usually does. Eventually, I do get up, but all I can do is sit and mope. After I mope, I lie on the floor and stare at the ceiling. The cracks make faces at me. Then I play music very loud, and I dance very fast. I stand on my head, I listen to my heartbeat, but I am still miserable. Finally, I grab my notebook and my red crown and I go outside. I walk into the woods stepping on ant hills as I go, ha! I sit down on a stump. I write the word lugubrious in my notebook. Lugubrious is my favorite miserable word. It means dark and dreary. It is dark and dreary in my heart. A big gray cloud covers the sun. It starts to rain and ants crawl up my cheek. On my way home, I trip. I land in a gooey mud pile. I run upstairs. I shout out as loud as I can. I am miserable. I crawl to the darkest, dreariest place I know. Under my bed. I feel something soft and warm. It's Neptune. He licks my face. We go outside to play in the world, and the world is a little less lugubrious. Okay, guys, that was our story for the week. Again, this story was called Alicia Has a Bad Day by Lisa John Clow. Stay tuned to hear more stories from the Fox's Den. Bye.